fanboy, 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 fanboy. You mad, bro? <laughs> Heihachi Mishima from the Tekken fighting game series has now been confirmed to be a part of the PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale video game. O-M-G. I am so freaking excited about this. Wait, 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 wait. Excited? You think I'm excited? I don't freaking think so, man. I'm not excited for this at all. And let me tell you why. Why am I going to be excited for Heihachi? Okay, yeah, he's a Tekken character. He's from Namco. Who cares, dude? Heihachi? You couldn't get any other character? You couldn't get any other character from the Tekken roster? Couldn't get Jin? Couldn't get Kazuya? Um, even Christy Montero? Any of the other younger or n n rather newer characters? Why you have to go with Heihachi? Heihachi sucks, okay? He's like the worst Tekken character. I remember, <laughs> this reminds me of when they released uh, the Soul Calibur 2 video games. This was way back, this was like 10 years ago. And it was available for all the current gen platforms at that time. Um, Xbox, PlayStation 2, and the GameCube. And every game for the consoles had an exclusive character that was only available for that, uh, version on that console. So Nintendo had Link from The Legend of Zelda. The Xbox had Spawn from the Todd McFarlane comic book series. And of course, the frickin' PS2 got Heihachi. An exclusive character. He's from Tekken, okay? It wasn't exciting because he's already by Namco. And Namco puts out Tekken video games on the PlayStation 2 anyway. So it wasn't a fresh idea. And nobody really wanted Heihachi anyway. Heihachi is a relic of the 90s. Yes. Is he a recognizable character? Sure. Especially from the 90s fighting game era. But it's not 1995 anymore. And Heihachi stinks. He sucks, man. He's a, he's a boring character. He's a geriatric, old, rickety, crickety old man. Uh, talk about... You know, talk about being redundant. Talk about, like, including the crappiest Tekken character. There's so many other characters from Tekken you could have chose. Uh, I would have chosen King. Let's choose King. He's cool. He's a pro wrestler, has a Jaguar's mask. Or how about one of the female characters like, I don't know, Nina Williams. Or even Julia Chang. I would have chosen any of those over Heihachi. But Heihachi brings nothing to the table. He brings no excitement. His moves are incredibly repetitive. He has that spinning kick. He's got uppercuts and punches. He's basically like a ripoff of like Akuma slash Ryu. You know, he's like this old guy who can has his own, I don't know, a karate style of fighting game moves. He sucks, man. Hey, Hachi is garbage. Out of the entire roster of Tekken, you could have chosen anybody, but you chose Hey, Hachi. I am disappointed. This is garbage. And now I'm hearing that they're going to have Tekken characters for the next Smash Brothers video game. That they're going to have some other characters from other uh, third party developers. I don't know about that. And I'll, we'll find out more information as the, you know, as it continues. Even if that's true. Not like they need it because... Freaking Smash Brothers is the king of the uh, of the party slash brawler um, fighting game genre. They're the king of this brawling game. Okay, give me a freaking break, dude. It's just this is just further proof that PlayStation Battle All Stars or whatever it's called is gonna stink. All right, now let's take a look at the current roster. And they don't have a lot of characters either. They only have what. Kratos from God of War, Sly Cooper from the Sly Games, Male Radic from Killzone, Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal, Fat Princess, Parappa the Rapper, Nathan Drake from Uncharted, Big Daddy of Bioshock, Toro Inoue, Inoue from Together Anywhere, I've never even heard of that garbage, 
Heihachi Mishima from Tekken, and that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's ten characters. Ten measly characters? P.S. All-Stars Battle Royale stinks! Garbage roster, nobody... Half of the ro half of the characters in this roster is trash. Do you really want to play as Fat Princess? As Parappa the Rapper? Do you want to play these people in a fighting game? Okay, Toro Inoue? What, I've never even heard of that! Some Japanese character that doesn't have any crossover appeal? I've never even seen anything from this Toro Inoue thing. I mean... Yeah, you got Kratos. Okay, Kratos from God of War. Sly, okay. You know, the guy from Killzone. You know, Sweet Tooth's pretty cool. Big Daddy is always awesome. Even Nathan Drake is corny. I don't know about you guys, but Nathan Drake sucks. Okay, he's a bland, generic character. He's very plain. He's got the same Caesar haircut that any normal... He's like a normal-looking dude. The most average, everyday-looking, generic-looking video game character. He, nothing stands out about this guy. I don't know why everybody... I mean, the Uncharted games themselves might be fun, and they're actually a, a good adventure type of game. But Nathan Drake is a crappy character. He's got no distinguished, like, this, uh, d unique features about him. It's not like Sly Cooper. When you see Sly Cooper instantaneously, you're like, whoa, that's sweet. You know, that guy's cool. Or if you see Kratos, like, whoa, Kratos is awesome. Nathan Drake is a very boring character. Hey, Hachi sucks. You know, Toro sucks. Even Fat Princess is more interesting than freaking Nathan Drake. At least Fat Princess is a fat princess. You know, that's kind of comical, at least. You know, it's cheesy and just kind of you know, quirky and weird. Oh, man. This game looks horrible. The roster stinks. Gameplay is conceptually similar to Super Smash Bros. series. Yeah, no kidding. It's identical. It's the same freaking ripoff game. Which up to four players can battle each other. Da 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 da. Oh, this game sucks. Garbage. Let's uh, read some more information regarding Heihachi, though. Let's see. In a presentation given at EVO 2012. Superbot Entertainment revealed two new fighters who will appear in PS All-Stars Battle Royale. And by the way, that name is very long. I don't know, they, they gotta have to shorten that name, okay? It's incredibly lengthy. How is that gonna fit when you're typing it out? Are you just, people just gonna abbreviate it like every freaking game that has a lengthy title? P P S A S B R. <laughs> Stupid. At least Smash Brothers rolls off your tongue like, whoa, that's, you know, it's actually fun to say it. It sounds catchy. Super Smash Brothers! Super Smash Brothers Melee! Super Smash Brothers Brawl! PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, blah, 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 blah. Too many syllables. Too many words. It's overbearing. The title sucks. Even the title is garbage. Toro Inoue may be unf unfamiliar to gamers who don't follow all things PlayStation in Japan. <laughs> who cares about PlayStation Japan, honestly? Who cares about Japanese characters that don't make it to the West? What's the point? We don't play the games. Nobody knows about Toro Inoue. This is my problem with Sony. They'll try and include these stupid Japanese characters that nobody has heard of, nobody knows. He's been a faithful mascot to Sony for over a decade in that region. I had no clue. Nobody has an idea in America, in the West. Nobody cares and nobody knows because we don't give a crap about a stupid character we've never heard of that isn't marketed over here. That's like bringing in a character from... I, I, I don't know, uh, even Hello Kitty is more popular than freaking, you know, freaking Toro Inoue. You know, like an obscure Japanese character. I, I, I can't even give you an example because obviously I can't even think of one because they're all in Japan. Maybe somebody from like Monster Hunter or something, you know? But Heihachi is recognizable as one of the Tekken series main characters. So what? 
Heihachi sucks. You couldn't do you couldn't do anything better than Heihachi? What kind of garbage is this? Here's what the PlayStation blog had to say about the latter. Hailing from the ever popular Tekken series, the original mastermind behind the Mishima Zaibatsu joins the battle, making his first appearance on the PSX in 1995. Heihachi is one of the only five characters to appear in every iteration of the Tekken games, thereafter brawling his way through 17 years of uh, Iron Fist tournaments. Heihachi fans will feel right at home. <laughs> Heihachi has fans? Really? Heihachi has fans? That's the most oxymoronic thing I've heard. He has no fans. Yeah, maybe people who played the original PlayStation games and... Heihachi sucks, okay? Give me a break. God. He excels at close-range combat. Okay, I don't even want to read this. This is dumb. I really don't care. Japan is failing. This is why Sony is failing. Because of crappy characters that no one cares about. Because of stupid rip-off, unoriginal games like PS All-Stars Battle Royale. And... They have no originality. They're a bunch of hacky, hackneyed, idea-stealing thieves. Okay, this is not the first time they steal ideas. And I'm going to make a future video that's like the top 10 stolen rip-off video games from freaking uh, Nintendo that so Sony ended up stealing. Look out for that one. That's going to be... It's going to show you everything, but... Sony's done. Sony is done. They, they suck. Uh, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm not buying any more crap from Sony. I'm finished with Sony. No originality. No good characters. They're done. They stink. Sony sucks. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale sucks. Heihachi sucks. Tekken sucks. That's it for this episode of Fanboy Reviews. And until next time, keep fanboying. Yeah!